What's up guys, welcome back to Flip Enlisted. Today's video, we're going over another toy lot I bought from eBay. <clears throat> wow, my voice sounds super weird. I don't know. Okay, anyways. Um, we're going over a toy lot I bought. Screenshot up here. We paid 11, 12 bucks for it. I don't remember. Um, basically, it was full of Pokemon toys. And some really cool, unique Pokemon toys, which you'll see in a minute. If you guys enjoy these videos of me showing you what I bought off eBay and going through it, and what I'm looking for and stuff I like to buy, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. Something cool, uh, me and my friend are starting up a live stream very soon. Uh, probably once a week, back and forth on each other's channels. Um, we had this live stream before. It was real talk. We did it, like, I'd say a year ago. But it was more based on just different stuff around the world and our opinions on it. So now we're, it's going to be strictly reselling. So we're excited to start that up on the channel. So me and Poke G World, which a lot of you guys know, he was on uh, um, Uncle B's Old School Flips, a.k.a. Jimmy's channel. And that was an awesome live stream. So yeah, super excited, super stoked. And I'll be having a new video coming out called Meet My Family because I want to show you guys a little bit more about me and who I am and, you know, my little family. So yeah, anyways, let's get into the video because I'm talking way too much. Let's go. All right, guys, here we are. We have a beautiful uh, box of toys here. Before we get into this, bam, we paid $11 for this. If you guys cannot see already, the reason why we bought it is Pokemon. Um, Pokemon. I like saying Pokemon. I don't know. It sounds nice. sounds original. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get, in, get, get into this. If you guys enjoy these videos, please let me know in the comment section below. If you guys just watch them to watch them, let me know. Because if you guys like watching these and just kind of getting an idea of what I sell and what I look for and so on, then let me know and I'll continue to do them. And because I buy a lot of different stuff, not just action figures, but just toys as well. And not, you know, action figures I count as opposable six inch, three inch figures. These are more like toys for me. Anyways, let's get into the box. Very excited about this. Now, what you guys are not going to realize, a lot of stuff in here is unique. Um, you don't find stuff like this all the time. And you got to really pay attention to that. I'm not saying it's worth a lot of money, but here we have this. It's a Pokemon figure. Obviously, I'd buy this anytime. Um, let's see if we can get a year on it. Nineteen ninety-nine Nintendo. Now, yes, this is really cool, but you gotta look up the details. See that? See that? That is amazing. It is. That is so cool. So cool. It's legit a measuring tape. That is amazing. Now, the bad thing about this, of course, it's used. I'm assuming that was to wind it up. Uh, it does not wind up, so you have to actually put it back in yourself. Not going to do that, but really cool, really cool. Moving on, we have just more Pokemon. Uh, like I said, I got these for $11, $12. Bucks. I'm going to sell all these figures 2 to $3 each. So it just depends on the condition. And I just bought like 40 Pokemon figures for $40 a couple months ago. And a lot of them weren't even this great. Um, yeah, so really cool. We got a Muck. A lot of them are keychains too. But I don't mind that. Pokemon figures are hard to come by these days. Besides the ones that are brand new at the store. But obviously you guys know collectors like the older stuff. So really cool. Um, I'm going to kind of try to hurry up and go through these. So it's not too long of a video. Um, just basically show you guys. Uh, most of these are good. They just have minor you know, paint wear and little spots and stuff. As you know when buying toys that's just how it is. Um, really cool sand true. We got a side duck. Got a little... No, it says no. Never mind. No. Let's forget about that. Probably the only one I'm disappointed about is Raichu. It's missing the tail. That's the only thing I'm disappointed about. Which is another thing. Looking on for lots online, you cannot see defects from the back. Most of, most of the time, we do not take pictures of the backs. Um, we got Jigglypuff. We got this Pikachu. This is actually disappointing as well. It's really dirty. I'm going to try to clean it, but we'll see how it goes. Um, we actually got a Star Wars figure, which I've been buying. So, pretty happy with that. That's... Uh, Obviously, Luke, and he has his cape, so pretty cool. I'll take it. Um, this is really cool. Press, uh, is it this? Yeah, and he shoots out. I'm not going to do that because he'll go flying. But obviously, we have Venusaur. Very awesome. I'm going to run out of room real fast, guys. Um, this is some Rugrats. Really cool. We got Egg Electra Buzz. Very awesome. Another uh, Rugrats one. And, of course, we have this little guy. <laughs> Um, let's see. Yeah, this one. I think it's Nido Queen. Not entirely sure. Pretty sure it is though. There we go. Really cool. This one's awesome. You never see it. Uh, uh, what's it called? I forgot. Blossom or something like that? I don't think so. It might be though. Really cool tentacle. 
This Pikachu is really weird. I do not like the feeling, and it's super dirty. Ugh, it's a terrible feeling. Um, I don't know what this is from. I'm just being Bakugan, and it just fell apart. Luckily, it goes back on. This will probably just be even 25 cent bin, to be honest. Um, I might look it up, but I really doubt it. Um, here we got a Venom. Really weird figure. I have to look him up. Something's missing from his back. Not entirely sure what he goes through. I've had figures like that before, though. Um, I can't remember what they were, though. Still really cool. We have this little Anakin Skywalker when he was in pod racing. This little toy. Now, here we go, guys. This is awesome. This is really cool. It's a Jigglypuff, but it is a tape dispenser Jigglypuff. That is awesome. You can actually take the back off. See, it's a little tape dispenser. This is this is really cool stuff. You, I've never found anything like this. I never knew. If I was a kid and had this in school, you'd be a legend. A legend. All right, let's let's keep moving on. I'm getting too excited. Uh, we got this guy, really cool. We got the golem, golem. What do you like to call him? I think it's golem. Let's see what else we got. Another thing from Rugrats. He is missing his wings, but he like said 25 cent bin all day. I'm gonna have a lot of stuff. We got a little alien over here. No idea what this is from. Uh, oh, it's Men in Black. Now I know. Now I know. Alright, moving on, we have it's just some random stuff, a little random car. Um, these are those little old rubber figures. I have no idea of value on these guys or anything about them. Cool, though. And then, of course, when you buy action figures, you get naked people. We got a naked guy. Uh, we'll never get monetized. <laughs> um, we got, like, a... I always forget that one's name. Now, this is a really cool one as well. It is a Bulbasaur, but it is a pencil sharpener. All you do is pop this off. Maybe. Maybe. Pencil sharpener. That is so cool. This is, um... I, I, kids would love to have this. If not, this generation is completely lost in time. to not want a Bulbasaur pencil uh, sharpener. Um, I've, this goes to Bakugan, if that's what it is. A uh, little homie, if you guys remember those. Another little rubber guy. Uh, these, uh, I'm pretty sure these are vintage. I see people try to sell these for ridiculous money. I personally don't feel like they're actually worth that, but if I just, you know, keep them. Pump 25 cent thing. Maybe look them up, I doubt it though. Got another one of these, really cool. And what else we got? We got another piece. Um, this guy, what is this guy from? Is that DreamWorks? That is DreamWorks. Burger King Corporation. No idea who that is. He is not looking good though. <laughs> and yeah, that is it for this toy lot, guys. Um, as you can see, just a bunch of Pokemon figures and random toys. Um, some there too. <laughs> so basically, I spent $11 and I'm hoping to get anywhere from 50 uh, let's see. No. Let's figure that out. Alright, so the sales I'm hoping to hit is 50 to $65 to make off this lot. And that's not gross, that's net sales. So, yep, that's it for this video. If you guys would, drop a like. Comment down below if you like this sort of content. And if you do, I'll have a lot more unboxings of stuff I buy. And if you guys, would you buy this? Um, definitely want to know from your guys' perspective. I think I could flip these on eBay. But I'm going to save them for local and flea market sales because I'm saving up for that because eventually this virus is going to end. And when it does, I'm going to be ready to make some good money. So, yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to drop a like, comment down below, subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you guys next time. Deuces.